don't. I'd like to know more about them. Some things I'd like to find out about goats are, are they nice? What do they eat? Do they pay taxes? Are there goat tax evaders? What would goat federal prison be like? And do goats smell bad? Speaking of bad smells, I'd like to bring out my bestest human friend in the whole wide world, Adam. Come on out, Adam. Hey, who let you in here? Wait, did you say I smelled bad? Yeah, I could smell you all the way from over here when you were waving your hands, all mad at me, telling me to get off the stage. You're so goofy, Adam. Couldn't you be a little bit more subtle about things like this? I mean, you don't have to announce it while we're on television. Hm. Well, maybe if you were a little less subtle about good hygiene, I could accommodate that request. Wait, wait a minute. I don't smell bad. I took a shower and everything this morning. I even washed behind my ears like my mom yelled at me to do through the door. Well, after well, she asked me why I was taking so long, I got distracted by the bubbles again. Anyways, you're the sock puppet. <laughs> We'll do a sensitivity episode some other week. We're doing friendship right now. Anyways, how did you get out here? I slipped a man 20 bucks and he let me in this morning. Maybe if you had a little bit more hustle, this kind of thing wouldn't happen to you. A hustle? I'll hustle you. Oh, on, I'm gonna go. get you. I'm gonna run you down to the ground. Guys, hey. calm down. Ooh. What seems to be the problem here? Mythalgata is trying to steal my show. Well, You guys are such great friends, you shouldn't be fighting like this. Also, as producer, I will definitely cancel the show if you two can't get along. Oh, Mathalgata. I'm so sorry. i sorry I called you the sock puppet. I'm sorry I tried to steal your show. I'm also sorry about that thing I did to your car brakes. Wait, what? I'm really sorry, Adam. You really are my best friend. I just get carried away sometimes, and I... Mathalgata? Hmm. You don't need to say another word. You're my bestest puppet pal, and no one can take that away from us. Well, except for that uh, court order, but that was a while ago. I'm pretty sure it's expired by now. Um, anyways, you're my friend, and sometimes friends fight, but if they're good friends like us, we'll always find a way to solve our differences. Oh, shucks, Adam. Well, uh, without a good eye, I did write a song about goats. Would you like to, would you like to sing that with me? Of course, Adam. All right, well, let's, uh, let's roll it. All right. Some milk. They can help us on the farm. Eating unwanted plants and then fertilizing lawns. Oh, goats. There's so much I want to see. They're so cute and I want one just for me. For me. Uh, for you. For me. Yes, a goat friend just for me. Singing with a friend is so fun, Mathalgada. What else do you like to do with friends? Um, steal! Whoa, Mathalgada. Hugs! Oh, yes, hugs are, are good things. What, what else do you like to do with friends? Mm, blow up! Whoa, whoa, no, no, no! Their inbox with nice text messages. Oh. You really need to let me finish my sentences before you get upset with me, Adam. I just, I know you too well. You're right. We've been friends for a long time. Do you remember when we first met? I do. It was back in college. A special flashback. Brought to you by the power of friendship. 
when Adam and Mathalgada first met. Wow, this is really great. Thanks for getting all these people out here to save the space program. My name's Adam. What's yours? Hi, Mathalgada. Hi, Mathalgada. Well, I'm trying to get people to sign this petition here. Would you sign it? I'm going to give it to the administrators inside and show them how much support we have for the space program. Sure. I'm really dedicated to the cause. Without the space program, how will we pack all the humans up in spaceships and send them to the moon? It's really the puppet's time to rule the Earth now. The humans have had their chance. You want to send us to the moon? Is that what you're using us for? Let's get that puppet! Uh-oh, not again! <laughs> Finally! I think I lost them! Hey, it's the uh, puppet that wants to shoot the whole human race into space. Mm, that was my hobby last week. I think this week I'll be into extreme ironing or tortoise herding. Well, they, they got rid of the space program anyway, so I guess I'm just going to have to find a new hobby too. I think they're just after you. Now get that puppet lover too. I think that's you. Uh. <laughs> hey, remember the spelling in the beginning? Not really. <laughs> spell check. Okay. <laughs> you remember? No. What spelled just wrong? Just tell me already. It's this, this, this. Oh. It's special was spelled wrong. I knew that. It doesn't have an A in there. Well, it has one What's A in there. What's the real way to spell special? Well, I think it's just Here it comes. S-P-E-C-I-A-L That's how you spell special oh my, I was gonna spell it that way too But with, an, uh, with no singing And we've been running from that angry mob ever since Hey, what did you end up getting your degree in? It was a film Oh, so that's why we had to live in that cardboard box Now that's True, but we also get our very own show now. I miss the box. Well, I mean, I like it up here. It's Plus, we get to live in beautiful gold country now and get to learn about all the animals and share that knowledge with you, our viewers. Who are you talking to? It's just you, me, the sound guy who's asleep over there, those two bored-looking lighting guys, and the producer playing Angry Birds on his phone. Ah, yes! Take that, you filthy slime! Uh, yeah, okay, well, you know, this is just our first show. Uh, soon we'll have tons of viewers, and can someone check on that sound guy? He's been asleep for a while and getting a little worried. If you say so, Adam. So what do we do now? Well, I don't know, like I said, uh, first show, kind of winging it. Let's play a game! A game? I love games. Huh, yeah. One time, I was down by the bridge with my girl Angela, and we were running a con. Yeah. We had three cups and one bouncy ball. And I says to the people on the street, I says, hey, I'm going to switch the cups around, but only one cup has a ball under it. Hmm. You put down a fiver, pick up the right cup, I'll double your five. But if you pick up, if you don't pick up the right cup, you lose. I keep your five. Oh, and gosh. Wait, Mythalgada? Mythalgada. Why do I get the feeling that this story ends with you getting chased by the police? Um, because it does, duh. Let's uh, try playing a game uh, with a little less cups and a little less felonies. I'm not sure how to, I know how to do that, Adam, but I'll try. Okay, well, uh, how about we'll, we'll have Cole, the producer, come in. He'll ask us questions about goats, and we'll try to answer them. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. Uh, Cole, why don't you come in here? Great. Great. Thanks, Cole. Love the enthusiasm. Uh, you're a cherished addition to the show. Hey, Cole, I'll give you 20 bucks if you perk up. Hello, and welcome to Goat or No Goat. Hmm. See, Adam? 
You got a puzzle. Without gonna, do you even know what a goat is? Hmm. Are they those ditches filled with water that go around castles? Um, no, that's a moat. <sighs> Are they those things that you get into that go on water? No, that's a, that's a boat. Um, buoyancy? Uh, float. Oh, then nope, can't say I have. Good, this will be easy then. Cole, first question. Question one. A male goat is called a billy. What is a female goat called? A, a lady. B, yo mama. C, a nanny. Or D, Beyonce. Ooh. Well, well, Cole, gosh knows I love me a good yo mama joke, but I'm gonna go with A, a lady goat. I'm gonna say the answer is A because that's what Adam says it is, but what kind of paperwork can I send into the government to officially change the answer to Beyonce? Yes, go Beyonce, let's do it. No, guys, C is the correct answer. Female goats are called nannies. The answer is nanny. And will never, ever, ever be Beyonce. Aww. Next question. What animal is the goat most closely related to? A, an elephant. B, a cat. C, a dolphin. Or D, a cow. Cat. Yes, definitely a cat. Really? A cat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does this look like a cat to you? No, it doesn't. The answer is cow. They both have ho hooves. They both are barnyard animals. How hard is that to figure out? Mm. My second choice was dolphin. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Call me when either of you two know what a goat really looks like. <sighs> well, he's right about one thing. We're doing an entire show about goats, and I still haven't seen one. Well, don't worry about that, Mythalgata. Got us covered. Hired a documentary filmmaker to make a video about goats for us. Oh. Ready to learn about goats? Yeah. Let's watch. Goats, nature's lawnmowers. These creatures have been living in the shadows of extremely adorable sheep for thousands of years. One of the oldest domesticated species, this handsome, noble creature has caught my attention and refuses to let go. The moment I saw the divine elegance of the goat, I knew I needed to pursue them as a film subject. It has become my mission, and yes, my destiny to learn all that I can from the goat. I can only wish that by finding the goat, I can find myself in the process. I am so excited to become friends with a goat. Here they come. The world here smells of grasses and trees and feed and fertilizer. It ferments the air. I, it is all fresh aroma to me though. Uh, I have not experienced this since a young, a young, young, young boy in the hills of Germany. Uh, what made you want to care for goats? What would you say when you, when you found, or when you decided goats, the decision was perhaps an illumination? It was an illumination, mm. yes. Wow. I think I can really become friends with the younger goats, really indoctrinate them into my love and caring. We'll see how they respond. Oh, hello. That's Buddy. Hi, Buddy. That name sounds like what I want from us, to be buddies. Favorite board game on three. One. To shoots and ladders. Why, why didn't you say a board game? <laughs> I deal with this a lot. Mothers not wanting me to be friends with their children. I don't know if it's the mustache or the hat. Could I ask you some pop culture questions? Uh, are you more into One Direction or Justin Bieber? Oh. I've not heard of that band. 
They must be playing at Coachella. Do you know your ABCs yet? Your one, two, threes. We talked for hours about the universe and our lives within it. While I enjoyed chatting and learning from this young whippersnapper, there was still one question to which I had no answer. What is a good friend? And how would I ever become good friends with the goats? Have you ever felt you have become great friends with any of your goats? Or are you a friend with any goats right now? Yes. Yes. I believe most of my goats I'm friends with. Uh, I care for them. Uh, and they trust me as much as they can trust a human being. And I think that caring and trust are great elements in a good friendship. But for now, it was time for me to march on. As much as I never wanted to leave these babies, known as kids, in the goating world, they were still very reliant on their mothers. I felt it right to learn more of the herd's dynamics if I was to continue with my pursuit of friendship with their kind. I also wonder if it's almost like you have to be inducted into their herd, that you must be <laughs> a part of their herd as well, that they will not allow you to enjoy in their friendship until you are within that hierarchy. Yes, um, I will go out in the field with the goats, of course, in good weather. And I will just sit with them for a long time. Gives me an opportunity to observe them, uh, to get to know them better, but it also uh, allows them to become more and more comfortable with me. There is almost a part of me that wishes that I could be even closer to them during those times. Perhaps I'll try to trek my way, feed them the alfalfas. Thank you. No, okay. Thank you. Being in such close proximity to these animals every day, uh, the peace and quiet that's here. Um, they allow us to become uh, part of nature again. And we're up here physically working hard, uh, but I don't think we'd change it for anything in the world. Uh, this is, this gives you a payback you just can't express sometimes. I am left with but one more question. Can these friendships end? And if so, by whose fault? I choose to believe that it is not always the fault of individuals. That there are sometimes circumstances that we cannot control. Friendship is a selfless act. For this reason, we must sometimes let those we care for go. Well, I must go. And I... I appreciate your company. Goats, a majestic creature. They've been wandering these hills, mowing them for their ranchers, giving birth, giving off their furs. It is one thing to be human. It is another to be a goat. We do not own our friends. What we do own are the experiences and moments we create with them. I'm sure if we look hard enough, we may find beauty in the endings. So for now, I prepare myself to let this journey end. That was weird.
Where did you find that man? He's my dry cleaner. I owed him a favor. Oh, the dog you know what that sound means? Are you having uh, fake World War II flashbacks again? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Stop that. Oh. Sound means we have mail. Mail? I love mail. <laughs> I sent you a letter, actually. Have you bought me again? I think I will save yours for last. Okay, but you better open it. I went through a lot of trouble to send that. It looks like it. First letter. Hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mathalgada, a viewer at home sent us their own picture of Goat Yance. It's amazing. But how'd they know to send us mail? It's our first show. Goat Yance works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is great. The frame is beautiful. Leave it right here. Next letter. Oh. This one says it's from Sally, age nine. More like it's from Lining Guy, age 48. Please send us letters. Anyways, Sally writes, Dear Adam and that puppet thing. Oh, very rude. Indeed, I'm offended for you. It says, Dear Adam and Mathalgada. Thank you. Yesterday I got in a fight with a friend at school. My friend was using the red crayon, but I wanted to use the red crayon. We fought over it, and the teacher came over and took all the crayons away from us. Now my friend won't talk to me because she says it's my fault the teacher took them away. What should I do? That's a hard one. Everyone knows the red crayon is the best crayon. That is a hard one, because sometimes you want something right that second, but you have to be patient. Being patient means waiting your turn. Next time your friend is using something that you want to use, you should ask her politely if you can use it when she's done. Sounds like you may need to apologize to your friend. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> well, that looks like it's all the mail, so I guess the show's winding up, but there's one more thing to do. A oh, goodbye song! Yay! Yes, let's do it. I'll scooch this in here for you. Okay. Oh, watch your hand. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Alrighty. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> How does my shirt taste? 
Sometimes I feel that hungry though, so don't feel ashamed. I've eaten my own shoe once.